stamping friends, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to show you a technique that I call collage stamping. I absolutely love the black and white with the pop of yellow. It just reminds me of summer and of course it says sunshine so there's, you know, there's that going on too. I'm using again the stamp set Happy Birthday Gorgeous and I've combined that with the Sunshine Wishes Thinlets and this is one of my favorite sets of Thinlets. You've got a bunch of different images here. We've got the word love and this cute little butterfly with this heart and this flower. Let's see if I can get the rest of this out of here. We've got the word hope and congratulations. And then I use the word sunshine on here. So this is a great thinlet set, thinlet set. I love the whimsical look that this has. So let's get started and I will show you how to make this card. Here are our card stock layers. I've got just a scrap of basic black. Then I've got a layer of whisper white. This is one and a half by four and a quarter. Daffodil delight that is three by four and a quarter. Basic black again that is three and an eighth by four and three eighths. A piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter and then our card base is Daffodil Delight and that is four and a quarter by eleven scored at five and a half. The first thing I'm going to do here is use the burlap background stamp on my Whisper White layer. This is a beautiful background stamp and I always like to show people how to use these properly because I often see them being used in a different way that doesn't give you good results. So I guess maybe properly wasn't the right word, but in my mind it is because if you take this giant stamp and you try to stamp with it like this, you're not going to have good results. A way that you should be using these big background stamps is to leave your stamp lay down here and then you're going to bring your cardstock to your stamp. I like to take just a piece of, this is just a piece of typing weight paper and it's just a scrap flyer that I had and I'm going to just put that right on here and then with a nice flat hand you're going to rub all over so that you get that image transferred to your layer. And isn't that pretty? I love this wispy look. And of course, burlap is very popular right now, so that's helpful. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be our background on the front of our stamp. And I'm just going to bring my card stock in here. This is my card base and burnish that edge. And we're going to adhere our burlap right to the front. I should say our burlap stamped image. There we go. Next, we're going to do the collage stamping. So I've got this small piece of Whisper White that's one and a half by four and a quarter. And I've got all my stamps mounted here. And I'm just going to come in and stamp this like a collage. When I do collage stamping, I kind of like to start with the biggest images first because then you can fill in with all the smaller images. And I'm just going to randomly, and make sure they're random. You want this to look very random. You don't want it to look um, real uniform. Just going to stamp my images around. Then I'm going to go to perhaps the next largest one. And you keep them close and fill in as much as you want. Make sure you're turning them and twisting them so they're going different ways. And then the next largest, if you have that option at this point. Make sure you're stamping off the edges. And one of the things I was thinking about as I was getting ready to make this video is that I could do a much bigger layer like I could do a much bigger piece of white and I could just stamp the whole thing up and then cut it into the sizes that I need it to make my card. So you could certainly do that. That's, that's a really nifty idea too. And then I'm gonna come in here with this little swirly deal 
This is actually the string for the balloon that comes in this set, but I thought it was pretty cute and it deserved to be in my collage also. So then you just kind of look around and see if there's any place that you'd like to fill in where you may have some blank spaces. And again, you make it as busy as you would like it to be. So there's this piece, so far so good, right? This is all pretty easy. Now this is going to get mounted on this yellow layer. So I'm just gonna do a dry fit right now because I'm gonna bring in the It's Your Day and I am going to stamp that on my layer right here. Okay, I'm back. I had to go let my daughter in, the door was locked. <laughs> okay, so I've just stamped my It's Your Day and now I'm going to take that scrap and I am going to die cut my word sunshine in the big shot and I'm just using the, the magnetic platform with the cutting plates so I'll be right back okay and once we have that done that's gonna fall right out of there this is really a nice die and I'm just going to poke out the rest of the pieces that didn't fall out and that looks pretty good one other thing I want to tell you is the sunshine word it does have a dot for the eye so when you're um, taking it out of your big shot you want to kind of watch for that if you plan on using the dot for the eye I've got one more piece right here okay so now we're gonna glue this together this is a really easy card and I think I actually got this layout from one of my demonstrator friends Brian King So kudos to Brian. I did change up the stamp set, maybe even the colors, I don't remember, but I thought it was a cool layout. Then, don't forget about my wonderful gluing of these intricate dies. I'm gonna turn this over and use some glue and a sponge, and that's how I'm going to put the glue on my words. This works great so that you don't have to have glue oozing out from behind these intricate dies. I'm just going to glue this right along my white line here. There we go. One other neat little thing is if you have pearls or rhinestones or even our white accents, I like to make them the colors that I need them to be, so I'm just going to take a Sharpie marker and I'm gonna color my rhinestone black because I can and that's the color that I want it to be and it's my card, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. Are you guys with me? Super easy, little collage stamping. You can do this with big stamps or little stamps. I really like the way these little images in the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set look on here. I'm going to close this up before I drop my card in it and make a big mess. And now, just to add a little bit more interest, I wanted to pop this piece up on some dimensionals. And remember to stick your fingernail right in the middle so you can peel those up easily. and I'll clean up my mess later. Don't need to do that while you're all waiting for me. I'm gonna center this. Super easy card, right? Then, the Happy Birthday Gorgeous has a Happy Birthday stamp inside, so I think I'll stamp that right here. And then maybe one of these little flowers, just to add a little cute interest there. Okay, now hang tight because I have one more really cool thing to show you. Don't forget your envelope. We are going to, again, use this big background stamp and we're gonna ink that up. And I am going to take my paper and put it under the flap right here. Well, hang on, I got a better idea. We're gonna take this, we are going to fold it just like this. Now we're going to put it in the flap, okay? So now my fingers won't get dirty with the top of the stamp. And we're just going to put our envelope 
right down like this. So all we've got sticking out there is our flap, right? And look at that. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Very cool envelope. And then I'm just going to stamp a few of my flowers on the front of my envelope because, well, because I can. That's why. And I want to. And here comes our finished card with our collage stamping and our adorable envelope with the cute little flap. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, pop me an email. I'd be happy to send you our catalogs. My email address is kelly at astampabove.com. This is the last week for our bonus days. So for every $50 that you order before tax and shipping, you will get a $5 coupon to use in August. So that's cool, right? $5 off. Make sure you hop to my blog and check out our discount shopper kit for $99 the value of everything that you get is $209.50 there are no strings attached and you can enjoy a discount on all your orders it's very cool I have all the information on my blog at www.astampabove.com hop on over there and look for the $99 kit in the right hand column. Make sure you're clicking down here on the subscribe button so you don't miss anything coming from me. Add a little sparkle to someone's day and send them a card. <laughs>